Hey everybody, it's Amy coming at you live from Yokohama. My goodness. <laughs> if you like what you see and you want to see more, please like and subscribe down below. Um, if you don't, well, poop on you. <laughs> Anyways, so um, it has been a super crazy week. I don't even remember what I've done all week. Hey, Kanchan. Kanchan is here. Hello. Oh, it's been super busy. I have so much to do. My website is still down. Um, I've... Oh, this week has been... Actually, I'm still too hot. I, was, I thought it was going to be a little cooler Hello, Atsuko's here. So Atsuko, I just sent out the notes for Wednesday's meeting. So please check your email. You should be getting them soon. Um, I sent them to Kazu two hours ago. Um, yeah, it's been... Every day has been super busy. Hi, Kanchan! So Kanchan says hello. Hello, Kanchan! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so on, what's even happened? I don't even remember. <laughs> ah, so, okay. No, I do remember. Okay. Since the last time I talked to you guys, I did my volunteering at the elementary school where, if you remember, I thought I was going to have to teach a thousand children and I was scared. I was scared. I had what's known as stage fright, which is, you know, I am I know I keep saying this and I'm sure you guys still don't believe me, but I don't, you know, I'm not an in person in front of the the camera kind of person, but um, you know, I do it for the, for the sake of teaching and for the sake of helping people. So, um, I put my own uncomfortable feelings aside for you guys. So yes, um, yeah, it's the truth. But uh, so I wanted to volunteer for this elementary school um, event, but when they said a thousand children, I'm like, that's a that's a lot of kids. But it what I think what happened was maybe at that time when they told that to me, maybe I don't know. But maybe the um, coordination didn't have enough volunteers. So possibly they were able to bring in more volunteers uh, after they had talked to me, which is fine by me because the, the thought of teaching a thousand children, I, was, I wasn't sleeping well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what if I ruin English for all these young kids? No. So it ended up being totally fine. It w I had a great time. Um, the ki I think the kids, you know, I think most of the kids enjoyed themselves. So, so <laughs> some of the kids were like, I'm too cool to be a, to become a robot. You can't make me. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're very cool. You're, you're 11 years old and you're super cool. Okay, great. <laughs> Because, you know, I remember being, you know, a preteen and then you you realize that people are looking at you and you're like, oh, no, now I'm embarrassed to do anything. No, I'm I'm cool. I'm too cool to do that. I, I don't want to do it. But <laughs> yeah, so just a few of those kids. But honestly, it didn't matter. It really didn't matter because we had 15 minutes for each time that we did the activity. So we had like, we had to do it six times, the same activity, 15 minutes each time. Um, so once the, once everything really started, at first we were, um, the kids were given like these, these like passport things. So, um, you know, we would put stamps and stuff and the, te you know, all the teachers were there too, the, the teachers of the school. So. All the kids knew them and they weren't going to misbehave in front of their teacher. So I didn't have to worry about anything or anybody misbehaving. Um, yeah, it was really cool. So everybody lined up real, real nice. And yeah, it was a good, it was a good experience. Um, we, the, so I was paired with a, with a, a Japanese teacher. 
so everybody knew her, everybody liked her too, so I think that probably helped as well. So she was a popular teacher and, you know, everybody was like, okay, we're gonna do it. And um, we had, um, in each class, cause I was thinking a thousand children and six, you know, divided by six times. And I'm like, that's just, no, oh, it's too many children. It's like two, 300 children each time. But no, we had like maximum 25 in a class. So that was not a problem. And it the schedule was so tight that it was no problem. We went and we had, we did the demo, we demonstrated the activity. And then um, we had two, two um, chances for the kids to do it. So, okay, who wants to be, you know, what color do you want? Who wants to be the robot? Um, sorry, if I didn't mention before, the activity was, I was controlling a robot and the kids would be the robot. Okay, we, so we had nine activities to do like, um, or nine actions to do, I should say. Something like jump or turn around or sleep for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times or for, t you know, that many seconds. So um, by the end, it was just two, two groups would do it. We're like, okay, half the kids get this, then the next half get to do it. We have extras. Hey, do you want to do it again? Yeah. Okay, great. Here you go. It was like a child factory. <laughs> I was like, okay, get in, demo, group one, group two, stamps. Oh, because afterwards everybody got a stamp in their little passports uh, to to show that they had participated in that activity. So uh, yeah, it was really fun and a very tight timing. It was great. I made a couple of friends, so that was really nice. Not, not the kids, not the kids. <laughs> Like, hey, kids are my friends. No, no, no. <laughs> kids are kids. But um, yeah, so that was, it was a really good time. We had, uh, I, I, I say we, but yeah, I, I think everybody else had a good time. But um, yeah, so that was fantastic. So that was Saturday. And then Sunday, I don't even remember what I did. I think I just relaxed, question mark. I don't remember what I did on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I, I've gotten really busy recently, so yeah. But I do want to keep doing this broadcast for you guys. So um, yeah, then Tuesday, I went to Hakone. And I've been to Hakone before. I love Hakone. I especially love the um, the the wood uh, ingrained stuff for, uh, the mosaic, uh, wood mosaic from, Hok uh, not Hokkaido, from Hakone. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm a member of this kind of speech club and two, uh, a current member and a former member, uh, invited me to join them. And I said, sure, I have time. So I, you know, rescheduled a, le a lesson and it's like, well, okay, I I'll go on this trip. I haven't been on a little trip like that in a long time. And they said, we're going to go have lunch and we're going to go to an onsen. And I'm like, an onsen? I've never been to an onsen before. So I was worried about three things. Three things I was worried about. First, I was worried about being naked in front of people. <laughs> Because as an American, we do not, we don't get naked in front of other people. Unless we're having private adult time, no, no getting naked in front of people. And I was thinking about this, why it is that this cultural difference exists and how how my perspective as an American is so strong, like, no, like, I, yeah, I'm going to take a shower or bath naked, but by myself alone. So, you know, we call the sense, the kind of adult areas, we call them private parts. So it's very private. So from a very young age, you know, cover your privates. It's just, it's kind of a, a cultural Puritan 
I don't know, stuff. Anyways, that's part of American culture. And then I was thinking about parents usually take a bath with their children, right? So, you know, maybe you just like wash the kids and rinse the kids and then you wash yourself and get into the bath with them. And we don't have this custom in the U.S. What happens is when when the children are getting a bath, the parents have their clothes on. It's just the children's bath, not together. My mom has never taken a bath with me. She's like shown me how to wash and things like that, but not gotten into the bath with me. To me, that sounds weird. I don't know if I'm, if I'm weird, but like if my family is that like that, but yeah, that would just, no, 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 no. She shows me how to wash and like, okay, then that's, that's what I remember. Um, yeah, so I think I think that's where the culture of it's fine to be naked in front of other people. Like it's it's not um honestly we feel it's shameful. It's it's this goes back to Christianity and like Adam and Eve and you know um Do you guys know the story of Adam and Eve? So I'm not Christian, but As an American, I do know a lot about Christian lore, so Christian stories, like, for example, Adam and Eve. So, okay, on the, on, you know, God made the world in seven days, or he made the universe, he made everything in seven days. And on the final, uh, sorry, on the sixth day, he made um, man, and he made one man, and that man's name was Adam. And then... (laughs) <laughs> he and Adam was naked. Adam ran around naked, no problem. And then um God said, "Hmm, he seems lonely. Let's make him a companion." So he took so he made he made Adam from dirt. He was just like person. But from to make a woman, he took a rib from Adam and made the woman Eve. I don't know. This is mythology so um yeah so then there was the the two people and they were naked and they were they lived in the garden of eden so if you ever hear garden of eden this is a pure um it's basically ah okay we actually have this this term in english it's called heaven on earth heaven on earth because you're not dead you're not in heaven but it's this paradise place on earth, heaven on earth. And that's usually associated with the Garden of Eden. So, um, oh, sorry. I need to drink my stuff. I love coffee. What's oh, really good today, too. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, so... God told Adam and Eve, he said, you can do anything you want in this garden. It is yours to, you know, have fun with, enjoy. There's one rule, though. One rule. See that tree over there? Don't eat from that tree. Don't eat from that tree. And I don't even know if they said why not. But it was just like, God's like, just don't, okay? Don't do it. <laughs> of course, like, uh, it kind of reminds me of, what's the Japanese fable where it's the, the, the man goes, he saves the turtle, and then the turtle takes him to this underwater kingdom, and then he lives there for a long time, and then the after when he leaves the the king is like here's this box for you but don't open it and then what does he do in the end he opens it and then dies <laughs> so it's it's basically the same story like you know you tell humans don't do this and we want to do it so um so for going back to the kind of the uh, talking about christianity and how um what was my point 
my initial point. I don't remember, but I'll tell you about Christian stuff anyway. Uh, it, it is actually culturally important. Hey, Yuta's here. Hi, Yuta. Um, it is culturally important to know in terms of American culture. Um, oh, that's right. The, the private parts and the shame of being naked. Okay. So I got, I got it. I got my train of thought back. Um, so, uh, you know, so Adam and Eve are living in the garden of eating. Very, very happy. They have, they, they end up having two sons. I don't know how, like, I, I guess they had two sons. It, they they never say where the sons met their wives. It's like what? <laughs> so, um, yeah, very strange. But anyway, so uh, one day Eve is in the garden near the tree. Okay, and um, you know the the tree that they're not supposed to eat from. And, you know, you'll see it as, uh, I don't know what fruit it, it actually, not that, that it actually was, but that it was supposed to be in the original texts. But recently, it, it's, the image of it is an apple, right? So if you see like, oh, a woman eating an apple, like, oh, it's the, it brings back memories of this story. So, um you know, so Eve's just doing her thing, you know, hanging out in the Garden of Eden. And suddenly the snake comes and he's in this, he's in the, the forbidden tree. You can't eat from this tree. And he, he starts talking to her and says, hey, did you know that this fruit is super delicious? And oh, by the way, the snake is the devil. So the snake is Satan, and Satan likes to trick humans to doing things that will make God angry. Okay, so that's, but he tempts you, he offers you beautiful words, so you do something bad to make God angry. That's the way it goes. So Eve says, oh, no thanks, <laughs> I'm not interested in this tree, because God says not to eat it, and I want to follow what God says, he's a good guy, or whatever. <laughs> And then so um, this so Satan says, no, but it's super good. Just just taste it. Just one little taste. What harm could it do? There's no problem, right? It's just one taste. So eventually Eve says, OK, fine. Well, yeah, what's the big deal? I'll taste it. And she's like, oh, my God, she eats. She bites it. And she's like, oh, my God, I'm naked. What? Like, No. And then, she, or I don't know, I don't know if that happened first, or if she just enjoyed it. And then, of course, she's she's like, "Hey, Adam, come here, eat this." And Adam's like, "Isn't that from the bad tree? We can't eat from that tree." She's like, "No, no, but I talked to the snake, and he says it's cool. Don't worry about it. Try it, try it." So he eats it, and then I don't know if I think at that point they both look at each other. Oh, Wait, you're naked. Oh, God, I'm naked. Ah, The tree that they ate from is what's known as the tree of knowledge. It's very interesting. So the tree of knowledge, they didn't know that being naked was bad. Because it's not being bad. It's just being naked. But that's where this idea of the shame of being naked comes from. So, you know, so, uh, so what ended up happening to Adam and Eve? Um, they, uh, you know, cause God would come and talk to them. Sometimes he's like, Hey, Adam and Eve. And, and they're hiding and they're like, Oh, hi, 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 God. What's up? And God said, what, what are you doing? Are you hiding? Why? Why are you hiding? And, they, you know, they're like, oh, no, just coming out from behind a bush. And they're like, no, we're not hiding. Hi, we're here. No problem. And <laughs> because they know that God's going to be so angry with them. And um, then so they have the, the fig leaf. So, <laughs> OK, I'm going to bring this back to Japan because do you guys remember Hapatai? And they did like, yata, yata, like so many years ago, right? And they wore the underwear with that leaf, one leaf, 
That's called a fig leaf. And that one is the, it's symbolic. It represents Adam in the Bible because he was wearing one big leaf to hide his penis, right? So he was hiding his, his manhood. Um, and yes, so, and God says, why are you hiding that? And he says, oh, you ate from the tree, didn't you? And Adam and Eve looked down and they said, yes. God kicks them out of the Garden of Eden. And I think the Garden of Eden outside is like a desert. It's terrible. It's so bad outside. So inside is this paradise. Outside is so dry and terrible and you can't grow anything. And yeah. Yes. So... Because of all that, I was embarrassed about my naked body. <laughs> uh, yeah. Culture is weird. So that was the first thing I was worried about. Uh, <laughs> the second thing I was worried about was um, I wasn't the one who arranged everything. I was just going along for the ride. So I, 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 you know, I know there's many different types of onsen, um, but I wasn't sure what type this was. And, you know, I decided to go anyways and check it out. If I hated it, well, I hated it, then it's fine. But um, I was worried about, this is the second thing. I was worried about the, the potential smell. So the sulfur... Uh, sulfur, um, sulfur onsen. Japanese have the same thing where it smells like rotten eggs. So it smells like bad eggs, right? So I don't want to, oh, like, uh, I don't want to, to smell, have the smell. But it was fine, no problem. There was no smell. It was great, no problem. The third thing I was worried about was, you know, my, my poor skin, it's very sensitive. I was worried that the water would be too hot. But I noticed that, how can I say, the, the bath itself was very long. <laughs> I can't do it too long because... <laughs> Oh, now I'm out of the frame. But it was long. And then on one side, there was the water coming out. But on the other side, there wasn't. So and it was very long. So I thought, oh, if th this is probably going to be the hot side. So if I stay on this side, it should be cool enough for me. And it was. It was an amazing experience. Uh, it was lovely, lovely, lovely. And ah. After a while, I didn't really care about being naked anymore. I just really was enjoying um, the experience. We could, because the clouds had started coming in, we could sometimes see a little bit of Mount Fuji, but we watched the sunset over the mountains and it was so cool. So let me show you just a couple of pictures from my trip because it was flipping flip awesome. So first I took, let's see, hopefully I can show you the, the right one. Here we go. I took a picture from the train. <laughs> so I had my little Starbucks and I was meeting the ladies at Odawara Station. So you can see Mount Fuji in the background and my coffee cup on the train. <laughs> So yeah, I wanted to get this to get this nice shot where it was just the juxtaposition of these two things here. And then let's see. Um just yeah, very brief highlights, highlights, highlights. We're not gonna show you the whole thing because that's boring. Um let's see. Yeah, I got some really good shots. So for example, um, you know, I got the shot here with the, with the boat, the shrine and Mount Fuji, really happy with this shot. And as you can see, the clouds are just starting to like, they're just starting to come over to Mount Fuji, but not yet. So at maybe 20 minutes after I took this picture, Fujisan was covered in clouds. 
So I was like, yay, we had really good timing. So, oh, first we went to, where is it? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> first we went to the Narukawa Art Museum. So that was really cool. Uh, the Narukawa Art Museum is uh, near uh, Lake Ashi in Hakone. And it has lots of different, um, yeah, Japanese art. And it has this view. And I'll show you another. Bum, ba -dum. Maybe I can, I don't know if I can show you the panorama that I took. But the panorama was pretty good. Oh. Oh, maybe it's not going to show. That's okay. But I did take a few pictures, of course. Of course, of course. But, you know, it was first... It was very windy. It was very windy. <laughs> so my hair was everywhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> take a selfie. Sad selfie. But you can see I had Mount Fuji in the background. <laughs> uh, but I was able to get some good pictures, though. Good pictures. Let's have a good selfie, please. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, good selfie. I think this one was good. Yeah. So good selfie, got Fujisan in the background, got the boat. Um, you can't see it so well just because of the, um, that's that's kind of the way that the that Instagram is. But yeah, uh, let's see, what else do we have? I wanna, I wanna show you one of the, one of my favorite pictures of the, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hi, 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 Jeff. So yes. Um, yeah, so that was really cool. Nice shot. Uh, one of my, one of the ladies that I went with, um, took the picture for me. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. Fujisan. It's fantastic. All right. Next we were, um, oh yeah. So at Narukawa Art Museum was very cool. The thing I was really impressed by the most was this. Do you know what this is? What's the shape look like to you? Because to me, it really looks like an elephant tusk. This is a Chinese ivory sculpture. And at first glance, I wasn't so impressed. I was like, oh, they just took a, they, they, they just made a carving. I didn't realize that it was ivory at first. And secondly, the level of detail on this sculpture is incredible. Let me show you. Just absolutely incredible. I wanted, I really, I tried to find more information about this sculpture because it was just, I mean, look at this. This is so, so, so detailed. In you know the 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 little the little uh, spears that the guys are holding, it's so like you can't even see. It's just so sharp and pointed. I feel like any part of this could break so easily, but it hasn't, and it's amazing. So yeah, just unbelievable craftsmanship here. Um, yeah, I took so many pictures of this because I I really want to know more about this piece about this piece of work. Um, yeah, you can see here, it's just, you know, this, the, it, it, what it does is it's talking about the beginning to the end of a civilization. <laughs> so I'm like, it's a crazy, like, oh my God, I can't believe the level, the, the absolute level of detail on this. So, so good. I was really impressed by it. Um, let's see. And let's see. Okay, so of course, after we went to the to the museum, we had lunch, and I'll show you my lunch. I had yudofu for the first time, and I really enjoyed it. It was very tasty. Um, yeah, some people ask have asked me if I'm okay to eat tofu, and yeah, I like tofu. Tofu is great. Um, the the taste of it was pretty mild. It was a pretty mild taste, but it was delicious. And you had the soy sauce down here, and I put a little ginger and green onion. 
And ah, the the katsuo bushi, that one's if it's old at all, I don't like it. But this one is very fresh, and I liked it. It was very delicious. So yeah, so all the combination of flavors together, very nice. It was very nice, and it had some kombu in there, like kombu. So yeah, it was really good. And also, that's not all I had. It was a gorgeous lunch. I had. Ah,、oh, it's gonna cut off. Darn. Oh no, it's not. Yay. Um. Yeah. So I had this tempura. So good. I love tempura. <laughs> it's really delicious. Yeah. It was, so we had this. Um. So we had like. Uh. I don't know if it was miso soup, but it was. Yeah. It was soup. And rice and some tempura and ah,、oh, delicious, amazing. And of course, I have no pictures of the actual onsen because that would, <laughs> I would be in jail. <laughs> But、um, what was really cool was、um, at the very end of our、uh, of our tr- of, of our trip, we're we're relaxing, we're waiting for the bus to come back and pick us up. And we were we were relaxing in a room, and we saw one of the pleasure boats going through, and it was lit up for the、uh, for the evening. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but it was really cool. It was a really nice little、um, experience to see that. So yeah, so that was my that was my trip to, to Hakone. Yeah. So that's yeah, basically what I've done. I did the volunteering, then I did Hakone. Then this next Sunday, I'm doing volunteering again、uh, for the I Love Yokohama group. So I'm going to go and pick up trash. So trash pickup, yeah, and you know, hopefully make some friends, and that'll be fun. But yeah, I'm sorry I don't have any topics today because I've I've been crazy busy, crazy busy. So yeah, I'm actually like I have to. Take a little time after this to first eat dinner, <laughs> and second to um um mum 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 to plan for next week because I got a lot of stuff going on and yeah I've got to do the website, got to figure out YouTube stuff and yeah but next week I'll have、uh, I didn't put music on today sorry、um, but yeah good stuff. Do you have any questions before we finish? Now's your chance. Ask questions. I'll take a drink of coffee. Hmm. So Kanchan, I noticed Kazumi's not here, so I'll send her a message to make sure she's okay. So I hope everything's good on your guys' end.、Um, yeah, let's hope. I'm creating new.、Um, New courses, so that's exciting, but really, it's a big, big, big project. So yeah, and Yuta, I miss you. <laughs> I want to see you soon, Yuta. Yes, yeah, it's it's um, it's really been busy. It's been busy, busy, but good busy, not bad busy. All right, guys. Okay, so if nobody has any questions, we're gonna finish it off today.、Um, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my Hakone story and my crazy life this week. <laughs> But、um, yeah, so I'll see you next week with、uh, more topics. Okay, yeah. So I have to.、I'm、trying to plan all these things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier today, I was I was literally like this, and I'm like, "Don't freak out, you can do it." <laughs> like, you got this, you can do it.、And、I'm like,、oh. <laughs> "It'll be fine, it'll be fine." All right, okay, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.